Hey guys, Flo here bringing you the third episode of Naplica Remote Series Season 2. First match is gonna be against Brescia in the Serie A. Uh, first, we're gonna check out the stats of the league. So, after only two games, Bologna is in front with six points, Roma and Palermo completing the, those Champions League spots, and Napoli and Inter completing the Europa League spots. It's just two games, only two games plays. Uh, we can't be serious about uh, the standings at this point. So, um, yep. Yeah. Napoli versus Brescia in the Serie A. We should win this game at San Paolo. Uh, we drew the first game against the uh, Inter and the second game was won against Udinese. So another victory will surely come in handy. Napoli with the first chance. Zuniga there playing the ball for El Kadri. Shooting the ball but it's denied by the goalkeeper. Brescia here playing the ball up front. A clearance of the ball but the ball goes to Magli. Corvia in the box, shooting the ball and it's 1-0 for Brescia. Surprise here at San Paolo, Napoli left behind. Zuniga here for Napoli. Getting the ball to Lucas Piazon. Plays the ball a little. Lucas Piazon. Is that a free kick? No. No, the, the ball remains with Lucas Piazon. Passing the ball to Tarab and the new signing for Napoli scores another goal. Most of the goal was Lucas Piazon's creation but Tarab was there to finish it off and it's 1-1. Brescia now with Welbeck. Welbeck getting close and the goalkeeper saves the ball. It's not clear enough and Welbeck gets the ball and how did he manage to score that? It was a bad clearance there by the defender and Welbeck. What an opportunist. Again Brescia in the second half. Mitrovic with a shot. Uh, wide of target but uh, Napoli here with the big guns. Cavani and Habsic throw down the pitch and you will see they will play a good match. First chance here Johnny Alba for Tarab. Uh, Napoli are building this from the defense to the midfield. Vargas playing the ball on the right flag to Zuniga. Gets past a Brescia player, Zuniga, sees Cavani there, very good cross from Cavani and Hamšík to score. Moments after they uh, they were thrown on the pitch, Cavani and Hamšík creating this goal. Napoli wanting the victory here, Hamšík passing the ball on the left flank for Tarab, a great reverse elastico shot, but the goalkeeper saves the ball. Again Tarab, with the skills, Tarab. Ah, uh, it's too early for this. Napoli are not in front yet. Hamšík with a cross. Vargas. Vargas with the volley and it's no! Welbeck saving the ball off the line and it's 2-2. Napoli here again. Campagnaro and the goalkeeper needs a medal for all these saves. Hamšík again from the edge of the box. Again the goalkeeper. Uh, no one could beat this goalkeeper into this match. Insigne here on the left flank crossing the ball. No, it's a pass for Behrami and again a save. Uh, truly expected that. Great saves by the Brescia goalkeeper and it will finish 2-2. Uh, Napoli surely frustrating by this result even though there was a moment where uh, they were trailing behind. The Brescia goalkeeper made this result happen for, the, for his side. Next match will be against Kievo Verona. We're going to jump straight into it, into the Serie A. Kievo Verona versus Napoli. Stadio Marco Antonio Bentegotti is the place uh, we surely to have a, an interesting match. Last season, you can remember that great 2-2. Now it's, uh, it's the same place, same teams. Hope we have the same level of entertainment. Napoli with the first chance of the game after a first shot, another shot here by Insigne and Napoli starting the game well, Stojan here, Stojan playing a good ball again but it's offside, Kievo making the first chance, even though it's an offside, Napoli should be, should be careful. Hamšík here, in the second half, Hamšík with a shot, but it's saved by the goalkeeper. Kalayo. Kalayo gets the ball of the Napoli defender and Rigoni scores for Kievo Verona in the 70th minute. 
One nil for Kievo. Napoli here with Inler. Inler shooting the ball, but the angle is too tight. Hamšík with a cross. Cavani doesn't manage to get the header, but it does the second time around, but it's off target. Zuniga, Napoli pushing forward for that equalizer, but Zuniga straight at the keeper and it remains 1-0. So here for Kievo. Gets the ball up front to Calayo and what a beautiful goal. Costil didn't move a muscle and it's again beautiful goal might end up in the top 10 goals of the season. Napoli still pushing forward. They don't want to give up. Insignia with the shot but it's saved by the goalkeeper. And from that corner Tashi scoring. Napoli still alive. A beautiful header here by Tashi. But uh, it will remain 2-1 for Kievo Verona and Napoli losing valuable points for the championship. We had a great game against Kievo Verona. We lost the game. Next up will be at San Paolo versus Torino again in the Serie A. But let's check out some news. Eduardo Vargas wanted to play even more. Uh, that, that's not even news. <laughs> I will play Vargas because he's one of my main men. Uh, I'm gonna switch him up with uh, Insigne all the time. So, uh, yeah. Napoli versus Torino. I remember last season we had big problems against this team. Uh, if I remember correctly, they, they even won against us in one match. Within 11 spots. Uh, not a big problem there. But Vargas here trying to make that goal happen, but it doesn't. Now Zuniga passing for Vargas. He wants to make sure he doesn't disappoint me. A beautiful dribbling there. He gets the ball again and a shot, but it's blocked there by Glick. El Caduri for Napoli with a shot. But Gillet saves the ball. Again Napoli in the second half. Cavani putting the ball on the plate for Lucas Piazon and the youngster uh, doesn't manage to keep his calm and it's uh, nil nil. Cavani. Cavani with a shot but it's off target. Napoli pushing forward but uh, Ciro here with a shot and the header from Stevanovic 1 nil from Torino. Sometimes football is like this a team creating chances the other team scoring. But Napoli didn't give up here. Blocked pass by from Cavani. Another blocked pass. Cavani gets into the box and it's it's a foul. It's not a penalty kick, but still a free kick at the edge of the box. El Cadri passes the ball for Inland with a block shot and it's a goal. A perfect deflection there for Napoli. A little fortunate there for the Napolitans, but they will take that. Last moments for, of the game here, Torino with a cross from Verdi and Bianchi with a header. He could have won this one for Torino. Napoli building from the defense again. Vargas playing the ball to El Caduri and the ball gets to Cavani at the end of the box. He chests it down, shoots the ball and it's goal for Napoli in the 90th minute. Uh, Napoli wins this game again, the Uruguayan being the main man and scoring a very important goal to snatch the three points for Napoli. Anyway, thanks for watching. These were the games of this episode. Uh, subscribe for more, all that crap, like, you know, and I'm um, gonna see you next time.